may ipapakilala ako sa inyong hari or naging hari at a very young age. The one, seven years old and he reigned 43 years. The other one, eight years old and he reigned 31 years. Who are these people? Or who are these king? The first one was Joas and the second one was Josiah. Josiah and Joas. Yan. Kumbaga, ano yun eh, may lineage po. Merong kinatawag na monarchial blood. Tama ba? May, may royal blood sila kaya sila ang kailangan maging hari. But this this is what I want us to talk about na, na paano ka mamumuno at a very young age, 7 years old then reigning for 43 years and then another one, 8 years old and then reigning for 31 years. Paano? Yan. O mamumuno sa kanila, magiging puppet ba sila? Ako, I don't think so. Because it happened in the time of the kings, I would like to believe that God was with them. Okay? You cannot reign just by yourself. When we rely on what we think we know and when we rely on what we think, with what we think we understand, palpake, di ba? Parang uh, nawawala ang kabuluhan ng ating Panginoon. Nawawala ng saysay ang ating posisyon. Nawawala ng saysay ang ating mga kapangyarihan kapag hindi natin isinasama ang Diyos sa ating kalalagayan. So what I'm trying to tell you is as I introduce Joas and Josiah into you, or unto you, uh, tanggapin natin yung responsibilidad na ibinibigay sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Besides, if God, or should I say, when God has chosen you, naririnig nyo ito palagi, no? Madala sa akin na, when God, or should I say, if God <laughs> has chosen you, it would be God's responsibility to equip you. Walang edad, walang, di ba? Pitong taon, walong taon, at whatever age, di ba? So kung gusto mo, pitong, pong, pitong put, pitong taon, 77 years old, or 87 years old, or 68 years old, or 78, or 88, at whatever age that God would choose you and has given you responsibility, I'm telling you not to worry. At what any age, kahit anong kalalagayan mo pa, hindi kailangan maging mayaman, matalino, malakas, di ba? maganda, o anong kalalagayan sa buhay. Basta ang lahat ay may pagkakataon para piliin ng Diyos. Ang tanong ko lang, kapag pinili ka ng Diyos, oo o ka ba? Will you just say yes? Wow! Kapag tugon mo ng oo, wag kang mangamba. Huwag kang matatakot. Huwag mong sasabihin, wala kang alam. Huwag mong sasabihin, hindi ko kaya yan. yan. Wala naman talaga nakakaya, eh, di ba? If you will allow yourself in the hands of God, or will you allow God's hand into your life, and I believe things can be accomplished. Why? Because again, when God has chosen you, if God has chosen you, it would be His responsibility to equip you. Yeah, I want you to hold on to that. So whatever task that God has given you right now, at whatever position, situation you are in, let God use you. And as you allow Him to do that, come on, glorify His name. Thank God for the privilege. Thank God for the opportunity. Thank God of becoming a vessel of His love and a vessel of His grace. Thank God for allowing you to be His in instrument of peace, to be His channel of His blessings. Daluyan ka ng ating Panginoon. Yun lang naman palagi ang role natin, eh, di ba? As we make ourselves available, just like Joas and Josiah. <laughs> they were very young, but they become, they became kings. Yes? So we submit ourselves before God and let God use us. So right now, hindi kailangan maging hari. Hindi kailangan maging pinakamataas. Whatever. Wherever and whenever. As you allow God to use you, let Him glorify Himself through you. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, thank you. Thank you for that opportunity and that privilege to be used by you. At whatever instance, Lord God, sa pagkakataong pinagkakaloob mo, I just give myself to you. And I make myself available, O Lord God kung ano man yung nais mong gawin sa pamamagitan ko. And I just again want to thank you, Lord, for this privilege that you have given us to be used by you as we submit ourselves to you. 
Yes, Lord, use us. Gamitin mo kami, Panginoon. Use us, fill us for your glory and by your grace. We pray this with Mama Mary in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Wow! You've got the privilege, you've got the opportunity that God is using you right now. So, enjoy Him. God bless you.